Right, if you've ever seen a dozen friends in matching pink T-shirts drinking lager in the departure lounge at three o'clock in the morning, you'll know all about stag and hen weekends. It's a huge market and apparently growing all the time. Newcastle, of course, has an established reputation in its own right, but one northeast company is now sending stag and hen parties around the globe to the tune of millions of pounds a year. Damien O'Neill reports. I like the way you move. These days, it seems you can't get married without first dressing up as a typewriter and flying off to some foreign city to drink a tanker of pina colada and then do some activity with the word extreme in the title. Last Night of Freedom has almost doubled its staff and its turnover in 18 months, £6 million in the last year. It flies parties of men and women across Europe and beyond, and there's no sign of it slowing down. Started off in 1999 in a little bedroom uh, in Heaton. Um, since then we've grown, we're now in a 15,000 square foot uh, place. We've got 45 staff. We organize over 3,500 different stag and hen weekends every year. And how many people are you dealing with on, on, a, on a good weekend? On a good weekend, um, around about 2,500 people. Um, bank holiday weekend in May, it's absolutely round. Cheap air travel is undoubtedly a big factor, but Matthew says these days people simply have more money in their pockets. You all will have seen oh yes, many something times. on this. Like, it's a staple of uh, any stag or hen. Like, you've seen airports all the time. You've also got a lot of stuff on the shelves here that we wouldn't show on Look North at this time of night, stuff that some people might consider slightly tasteless. I mean, how much of that makes up your business? Uh, about 30%. About um, it is a reasonable part of what we do. Um, so we've got over 2,000 lines, roughly 600 of them are, uh, are not suitable for air. Okay, so you do cheap, you've got rude. I mean, how far can you take it? If you want to really throw the budget at it, we've got something along the lines of this. How times have changed. What used to be a simple pre-marital ritual has now become huge business. But what we want to know is, what were people doing before anybody had even heard of inflatable plastic body parts? In place in the old days was the big mortgage, the old George. Did you have a hen do when, before you got married? No. <laughs> we were far too old. They didn't have them. Was there any question that you would go abroad or wear a daft costume? Uh, what? Did you go on a hen do? No. Not at all? Never. Why not? <laughs> Couldn't afford it. <laughs> it's not my thing. What about you? Did you have a stag night? I had a beer with my uncle. <laughs> we come round Newcastle. <laughs> Did you wear a costume? I got your water up, tiaras. Some things never really change, apart from the amount of money we throw at them. Damien O'Neill, BBC Look North in Newcastle.